So, back to control. Uh, I forgot that hissed barriers are these red things here. And one of the files mentions that what you need to do with these is to destroy where the hiss resonance is located. So clearly you can see it's over here, right? So you destroy that, and that gets rid of that there. Uh, there's probably a bit more over here on this side. Get rid of that. And then one more on that bit on the wall in particular. And now we can go ahead and do field training, which I'm going to put on as a mission. Uh, yeah, I just can't, totally forgot that I needed to do that um, to actually get into here. So we'll go ahead and do this side quest. Uh, field training. I don't know what exactly is going to be in field training, honestly. Um, but it'll be fun. Hopefully have a new ability. Oh, also, in the meantime, I did pick up another correspondence file. So we'll go ahead and read that now, I believe. So, correspondence. Field training act a complaint. I'd like to file a formal complaint, Ari, the unauthorized use of my voice in a state of quality that I did not agree on. The fact they were planning to use material from what I thought was a rehearsal had not was not communicated to me at all. Had it been, I would have disallowed the use of those recordings. I want use of the Ranger Field Training Course recorded messages to halt immediately. I will not stand for this humiliation among my peers. I will go to HR with this if necessary. Signed, Randall Pulaski. Okay, I don't know if that's referring a voice actor necessarily, but... We got a Reaper here that says, Hey, hi, hello, I'm doing side quests in Xenoblade because why not? Oh, are you, are you trying to do all 95,000 of those, Reaper? Or are you just going to just, you know, do them as they come up when you find them and so on? Uh, the other uh, correspondence, I believe, was the book club that I did not uh, read last time. So, I forget where this was. It's probably somewhere in the research area, but... Unless you review by corp uh, corporate Captain Lopez, oh, I was thinking I was corporal. These days, most young adult novels intertwine the coming of age story with either a contrived dystopian setting or a tragic romance. Unless you manage to do both. In the story, the protagonist and her love interest search for a cure to a virus called the Fix, which is simultaneously killing her and spreading across the whole world. To find the cure, they go on expeditions into dangerous, uncharted territories. The people all live in walled cities now because of dystopian future. And along the way, they just have to fall in love. I liked how we never got to know if the fix was actually ever fixed. The ending was bold, especially for YA. The main character succumbs to the fix when she's so close to the cure and commands her love interest to go on and save the world. She knows this is the end for her, but that the job can still get done. She dies out in the unknown, alone and surrounded by danger, but never loses sight of the goal. That's a good soldier's death. I give this book 3 out of 5. I feel most of the teenage angst is a little lost on me, but I'd recommend it to my brother's kids. Uh, Reaper says, I'm trying to do what I said I wasn't going to do. I'm going to do as much as I can. The things that they've added to help you follow quests convince me. Yeah, I mean, you know, if they've added quality of life things to make it easier to do those side quests, it doesn't necessarily feel as much of a chore, even if there are 95,000 of them. Plus, you know, it's one of those things, you put a podcast on, or you put a Twitch stream on, listen to someone playing through a game, it's like, yeah, makes sense. Uh, let's go, let's go jump. I don't want to activate anything here. So, so I, I just read this? Randall Pulaski. Welcome to the Ranger Field Training Course. The course must be completed in a specified amount of time. When you're ready to start, press the button. Is that all, or? I always did a lot of obstacle courses. In the required time. Okay, well, seems fairly simple and straightforward. What do we got to do? Get ready, Ranger. Course starting in five, four, three, two, one. Go. <laughs> this is a great voice acting uh, thing. So, uh, oh, it's through the left door. All right, let's go. I'm not seeing a time limit, honestly. So what? Five seconds remaining. What do I have to do? Oh, okay, I get it. Hello. All right. I was half expecting to have to uh, use telepathic abilities for this. Thirty seconds remaining. Ah, there we go. Uh huh. Wow, this is not actually that long. Ooh. 
go. Ah, uh, okay. All right. Now I know I actually properly do need to run. But is it possible to finish the course even without having met the time limit? Because there is a lot here. All right. Exit. And... Yeah. Oh, through that door. Okay. So, yeah, you get a minute to run through the whole thing. But that's fine. Uh, the worst quests in Xenoblade were the ones that would collect X number of this item. You don't even know where to start to search for them. But the follow things that shows you where the collectibles are or were, the enemies that you have to kill the item and collect them. Yeah, it sounds good. Like, go, 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 go. I mean, it'd be... It'd be one thing if they just decided to, uh, you know, put the game out as it was without the quality of life improvements, right? But the fact that they did do that makes it a lot more fun to play through the game. Yeah, man. Alright, where are you there? Okay. Do -do 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 -do. And of course, it all, all the launch stuff is zooms in, homes in. So there's no need to worry about. Wait a second. Let's go, go, go. Got power converters. I should point out I didn't actually do any of the uh, side quest stuff, the board countermeasures and so on. Wow, you really do not have time to waste energy on uh, missing those energy converters. Wait, did I do it? Oh, it's failed. Oh, do I have to go through there? Okay, well, let's try again then. Uh, the worst of the new ones is that it doesn't work for Colony 6 reconstruction only quests. Oh, that's a shame. Like, you would have thought they would, you know, put it together to, so that it works for all parts of the game, not just the quest stuff, right? Alright. Go. Yeah, you really do not have time to mess around with uh, launching energy converters that aren't hitting the target. Do -do 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 -do. Sprint, Jesse! Oh, yeah, I suppose you could just do blind fire. That would totally work. One... Another one. Okay. Go, 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 go. Sprint, 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 sprint. Through here. Cleanse the safe yes, object of power. Part of the course. It's protecting itself. Of course it is. This is the safe, it's a shield. Alright, there we go. And now we have the safe object of power ability. Uh, Reaper said you at least can check on Colony 6 reconstruction things without having to go to talk to Juju. You can check it in the quest list. That is great. Not having to go back all the time is fantastic. Shield yourself to pass and level up. Okay. So, uh... Shield, you say? Alright, well... Go, 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 go! You can't sprint using this, so... I guess it's just... Hope you've got enough protection. Maybe if the the debris gets destroyed in a particular direction, you have to re-up it. Something like that. Seems like that. And does it work while you're... So you can kind of jump while with shield activated? Oh, and it does run out. Okay, well. Ah, run! Okay. I'm about to say, this is a really cool shield ability to have. Run, 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 run. Oh, and you can climb while using shield as well. That's handy. 
I would have totally thought they would have balanced it so that you can only run up stairs and steps that you can do normally. And if you have to jump, it would fail. But okay. Ta da! Four ability points received. Awesome. Good time to have a shield. It is indeed. So, when the shield's up, you can't do anything. Like, it's literally just protection. And of course, if you're trying to use evade or launch, then you don't have the energy to use the shield. Okay, that makes sense. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, hello. Now, can I use melee with the shield up? No. You have to drop the shield to do anything, which makes it less effective. But I'm sure there'll be an ability upgrade thing to let you do that in the future. Probably like uh, use a shield, use melee at the same time as using a shield. Use your gun at the same time as using your shield. Use telekinesis at the same time as using your shield. And so on and so forth. That would be handy. Okay. So is that everything? All we need to do? Seems like it. And we did pick up a file. So let's read that file. Correspondence? Uh, no, it's a case file. The home safe. Uh, Reaper says, they've added a thing to mark where an NPC is with a name in the affinity diagram. That marks where the NPC is on the map. And they could have added the same thing for Colony 6 Reconstruction. Yeah, well. I don't know how much Monolith Soft are, like, going back to patch their games. But, you know, I don't expect them to add that as another feature. Alright, the home safe. So no unique procedures required for containment. The object is a guardhouse brand home safe. Weight for measurements vary. When bound, the object allows power utilitarians to telekinetically gather items and debris from their surroundings. The object is currently bound by blank. Discovered in the basement of a home in blank, Ohio, the object gained rapid interest in certain online forums dedicated to opening abandoned safes. Oh yeah, people on Imgur and Reddit love saying, hey, what's in the safe? They always say, yeah, I'm going to open it up. I'm, don't worry about it, guys. I'm going to open it up. And then they never do. After months of failure, the owner attempts to open it with explosives. The object survived with no physical damage. Bureau agents were dispatched now confident of its paranatural behavior. I mean, it depends on how strong the safe is, right? Lots of safes just can withstand explosives. Blood occasionally emerges from the seam around the object's door. Tests confirm the blood is not human. X-rays taken of the object indicate that something is trapped inside, though the images are always blurred, which indicates the contents of the object are moving. All attempts to open the object have been unsuccessful. Oh, that's creepy. What, what could be inside? The images are always blurred, so they can't see a definitive skeleton of anything. And we've got the water demon here. Hello, the water demon. Thanks for joining the stream. How are you doing today? Okay, well, we got our new ability. And ability points that we're going to go straight on to launch uh, rather than the guard. But we can have a look at the control point and see what kind of uh, upgrades are available for it. Uh, now to do that, yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll quickly go back to the central executive. And then we'll go through the, uh, the sector elevator again because uh, we need to head to the research sector, which I skipped last time. Well, I didn't skip it. I walked right past the door. Also, in the meantime, I did try going through Ashtray Maze again. I tried using Launch to lift up the Ashtrays. Because, obviously, it's called Ashtray Maze, right? But you can't directly lift the Ashtrays using Launch. You can lift, like, a table. And then the Ashtrays kind of float underneath the table. But that didn't seem to provide any significant clue of how to uh how to solve the maze so we'll come back to it another time i think uh, i'm sure there'll be something major to do with it because there isn't an area right behind it so it wouldn't make sense for it to not have something uh tied to it specifically okay so we've got shield shield strength okay all makes sense 10 20 20 30 
but we also have when released shield propels debris at nearby enemies well that's what i wanted to do before and i couldn't so you get plus 100 percent to the damage while holding a shield use evade to rush at enemies and knock them back requires the evade ability well you would have the evade ability no matter what at this point uh again more damage and the energy will recover while the shield is active. That's a good one. That is a very good one. Hmm. Okay. Uh, hmm. The problem is I've only got four points. If I try and unlock this shield barrage, it's going to stop me from being able to unlock this launch at large objects. Ah, uh, you know what? I wanted to use shield barrage before, but it wasn't an ability I had. So let's do it now. Oh, I can't. I can't even do it. Well, let's launch large objects instead. And we've unlocked a personal mod slot. That's good. And then we'll get this one because it's required. There we go. All right. Cool. Who the hell does she think she is? So, mod slots. In Water Demon says, been okay, just sick for the past three days. But other than that, everything's fine. How about you? Yeah, I've been fine, honestly. Uh... I've talked about Pimsy obviously not being especially great. Uh, so she's been sick the last few days as well. So you've got a bit of solidarity there. But she did feel a lot better today. Um, you know, more actively engaged with the, the whole world as a, at, at large. Um, but yeah, everything fine with me. So yeah. Glad to feel... Glad... Uh, oh, I, I don't suppose you have said you're feeling better, Water Demon. But hopefully you do feel better soon. All right, so plastic tree procedures, holiday memories tree, not Christmas, holiday memories. So the containment procedure is it must be contained in a soundproof cell. The description is a holiday memories brand white plastic tree with a green plastic stand. The item repeats words and phrases spoken within a range of blank feet, always in a tone below blank hertz. This verbal mimicry has profoundly distressing effects on the individual it is copying. The item was taken from the blank, a Canadian research station established on Ross Island in Antarctica, where it was used to celebrate the holiday season. In 1979, solar radiation damaged the radio, severing the base's only means of communication with the world. After the frozen passages opened, a military expedition visited the base to re-establish contact. They found the base's occupants in various states of madness, rambling about voices in the tree. Military personnel discovered that they also heard the tree speaking. After locking the item in a supply crate, they brought it back to the mainland, at which point the Bureau intervened. A Christmas tree that talks to you. Interesting. Uh, and yes, we don't need to talk to Emily for anything. I already put on the personal mod for extra health, so we can go and do the research sector. Hello, the real pie master. Thanks for joining the stream. How are you doing today? Uh, after two days, Water Demon's fever finally went away, so I am getting better. Oh, that's good. That's good. Glad to hear that. Yeah. Uh, hopefully the stream quality is better today. I have turned the settings down, even if Twitch doesn't say doesn't think I have. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm glad you guys are able to watch more effectively. I don't know if you can watch Reaper depending on your internet, but it, it, the quality is lower than it was. So yeah, hopefully more people can view without having, you know, ju juddering problems, stuttering problems, whatever it may be. Yeah. yeah, it was a nice, uh, nice way to clean out, you know, the side quest we had. Okay, so, towards the research set. Also, I have noticed that while playing in off time, um, enemies just seem to load in every now and then. So, let, we've got the shield barrage ability now, alright? And then, if we let go, that didn't really do it. Uh, I guess I have to press R1. Uh, good. I mean, that wasn't the strongest shield barrage I ever saw. Alright, let's let the energy come back in. So I've got... Okay. So I have the shield. I can evade to charge, but that's not shooting it out. R1, hold... No, okay. Whoa, okay. Alright. 
launch is just so good. Ooh, that's... I noticed some orange uh, collectible things on the floor there. Was that just the visual effect, or is it something important? Okay. Uh, audio only because of shit internet. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Um, sorry to hear that, Reaper. Uh, but, you know, I guess it's just a, a sad side effect of living out in a more rural area. But I'm glad you can make it anyway, even if it is audio only. Hello. She's in trouble. She's need in to trouble. Reach her. Hmm. All right, well, I guess we'll have to go around. Hello, Astral Exhibition. That sounds interesting. Oh, and of course, everything's still kind of like uh, messed up because we haven't found a control point yet. Arachinesiology. Hello. Don't mind me. I'm trying to shoot things at you. It's not going as far as I thought it would. Okay. I... That was dumb. <laughs> Shoots a fire extinguisher in my own face. Alright, where are the rest? There you are. Ha! <laughs> Caught him on the backswing. Ooh, nice. Okay. Some more. More people loading in. I think if I had another upgrade to launch damage, I'd be killing those guys in one hit. But they're surviving with just a slither of health. Okay. Any more? Any more? No? We'll just pick up all the mods. And the control point seems to be over here. Can I open this up? Emergency call supplement. Maybe I can't. Oh. Hello. Are you okay? You don't look okay. Uh, so yeah, the other thing is, while playing off like, just exploring the map is, uh, this map is kind of bad, you know? The fact that you can't move it around, you can't really reorientate it in any way or shape or form is kind of annoying. So, I'd actually prefer to almost not have the map, you know? Just rely on the, the in-game signs, honestly. Right, let's have a look at emergency call supplement. This game made me realize how many square and rectangle objects are in my house. Oh, yeah, definitely. Like, just in a normal office environment, you forget, like, just how square things can be. All right, emergency call supplement. Oh, this is a... So this is the summary for ADV-18, and this is for ADV-18 as well. Okay. So it's a transcript of a call to the California State Emergency Services. 911, what is your emergency? Hello, hello, I'm here. Can you hear me? I can hear you, ma'am. Where are you? I'm um, inside the wires. I'm lost. Ma'am, have you been drinking tonight? I feel like I'm stretching to through the wire towards you. Don't hang up. I might go if you hang up. Go where, ma'am? Go. Gone. Away. Okay, can you describe your surroundings? Or oh, no noise. Ma'am? Hello, ma'am? Dispatcher attempts to call the number back, but it was no longer in service. Interesting AD we have. So yeah, we've got two guys trapped in chairs. But, uh, nothing else going for it. Oh, here's a control point. Nice. Claim it. The worst part, says Reaper, uh, the company that came here talking to change to them, so they bring in optical fiber for internet, actually brought it to my town, but only in some streets, mainly flat buildings, not single family houses. Oh, dear. I think the fiber goes near my house, but doesn't reach it. That's really annoying. All right. Uh, let's shut up, darling, and... Go through the multimedia properly. Is research stuff. Yeah. 